Lovers of yachting know that the most important part is being with your people in an environment where everyone has the space to be themselves and enjoy life at sea to the fullest. The Azimut 53 is a nearly 17 meter ambassador of the Flybridge collection with a beam of nearly five meters, three guest cabins, two heads, and space for a crew person. The idea behind this yacht's design is to question everything that has been taken for granted about the use of space on board and offer no compromise yachting in a size where it's quite difficult to achieve. Twin Volvo Penta IPS 950 pod drives carry the hard chine planing hull up to a brisk maximum speed of 31 knots. And at a cruising speed of 26 knots, she can do up to 265 nautical miles. And she looks the part. Exterior designer Alberto Mancini gave her sleek, slimming lines that give a striking impression at the same time as disguising the significant spaces within. The minimized fashion plates, dark and blended, emphasize the large glazed surfaces as they shed volumes from the profile. The stripe of negative space gives the fly an impression of floating in air, true to its name. And for a dynamic edge, the shear line reaches up ever so subtly, creating tension towards the bow. Let's have a look around and discover all of the solutions that Azimut has combined to deliver a fully fledged family flybridge in 53 feet. Starting here on the cockpit, we've already skipped over an important design decision. The asymmetrical stair up from the hydraulic bathing platform was chosen to accommodate a crew cabin with a window and an entry right in the transom. This way, we have the best privacy for the cockpit and more space to expand the table, expand the seating, and make even more comfort and storage for the guests here. You notice that there's no poles blocking our view, we have a perfect view off of the stern, and to serve the one thing missing from this picturesque spot, we have a wet bar to port, which has everything you need. Your sink, an ice maker, storage, and my personal favorite, two refrigerated bottle holders, nice and fresh. Our access to the flybridge comes directly up from the transom stairway, and with wide, easy to climb steps, it's a hint at the well-appointed deck we'll find above. What a view. The largest part of the flybridge is dedicated to this unprecedented convivial lounge over the waves. There's soft sofa seating lining the area for all of your guests, plus some new friends. And when mealtime comes, you can pull up a couple of freestanding chairs to complete the arrangement. Or, during the configuration process, you can choose to have a high-low, fold-out table to give everyone a seat at the table. For shade, on this model we have an electronic bimini which raises up and can even stay up at low speeds. Or, you can opt for the fiberglass permanent hardtop. Moving forward, we pass by the wet bar cabin at starboard, which has everything that you need to serve up here. A barbecue, a fridge, extra storage space. And all the way forward, we have a luxurious set of three sun pads with extra deep cushions. Each one has its own independent adjustable backrest, and they're all protected by the high tinted windscreen, which blocks out glare and the wind without compromising your beautiful 360 degree views. And the pilot seat is dead center, surrounded by company, because the Azimut 53 was developed with owner operators in mind. Let's head back downstairs and check out the main deck. The extensive study of space on board led the shipyard to choose pod propulsion for the Azimut 53. Together with the clever layout and design solutions, it's allowed us to have a nearly flush transition between the fore and aft parts of the main deck. It's a major contributor to the airy vibe you get inside, and it's reinforced by another thoughtful touch, 
the elimination of mullions dividing the windows to the bare minimum size and number, which means more sunlight inside and even better views. We're welcomed by the furnishings in light brushed oak with accents of matte bronze. The absence of reflections and the soft flowing organic shapes selected by Azimut's in-house style department give us an air of well-being while we're inside. And that brings us to the appliances, starting with the fridge, which is really shared between the indoors and outdoors areas thanks to this sliding glass door which recesses all the way. It's full height, of course, and we have a storage above, a freezer. It's not just the fridge. Nearly the entire food prep array is al fresco. The Mila cooktop and the Mila dishwasher just below, and on the starboard side, the Mila oven. And there's so much storage all around, different cupboards and drawers. Some of it, of course, houses your custom azimuth glassware, which is held securely so that it never rattles while you're enjoying the yacht's sporty side. And here is the main electric switchboard. We pass by even more convenient storage and the wine cooler to enter in the bright and convivial interior lounge. The counter-facing sofas are set around an expandable table, which can be ordered as a high-low. That's so great because when it's in its lowered position, you can place a filler cushion on top and it becomes a lounge bed for watching your hidden TV on the starboard side. And that lounge bed can actually serve as a real bed if you need the space to accommodate extra overnight guests that may come unexpected. Now, getting down to business, we come to the interior helm station with two comfortable seats and well, everything you could really ever ask for. As with all of our Volvo Penta IPS cruisers, the Azimuth 53 features a flush glass display with Garmin Electronics. We choose them because of the integration between the two systems. You have the engine readings right in with the helpful suite of tools, and you have just one number to call for maintenance. The shipyard has pushed all of this technology to its limits with the enhanced cruising solutions, including the joystick control, which allows for precise maneuvers in the marina, as well as easy adjustments to your autopilot, and the active trim control, the automatic hydrodynamics optimizer. It all comes together with the hull shape, which was studied by Azimuth's R&D department to guarantee precise handling, efficient cruising, and consistent results. Above all, the Azimuth 53 is reliable, which is especially appreciated by owner operators. But the whole family will appreciate the choice of pod propulsion because of the additional benefits that it brings. You have lower running noise and vibration, as well as the possibility to move the engine room bulkhead back by 60 centimeters, creating much more space for the guest accommodations on the lower deck. Let's go and have a look for ourselves. The owner's suite on board the Azimuth 53 is exceptionally generous, thanks to the shipyard's careful study of the use of space on board. You can see we have full height walking room nearly all the way around thanks to the raised section in the ceiling and even a walk-in closet. What a 53 footer. Then you look under the bed and check that out. And on our way out, we have yet another storage. This one particularly deep and tall with shelves convenient for keeping those things you don't want to go deep into the room to get when you need something quickly. And finally, the private head. The VIP suite occupies the bow area with a queen size bed. The long hull side windows, natural light, and color palette work together 
to give an airy yet warm feeling that expands the perception of space. The important areas are full height, which makes accessing your abundant storage super easy. And there's even a direct doorway onto the day head for more comfortable nighttime use. While expectations are always high for the VIP and master staterooms, the double cabin can be more famous for bearing the brunt of spatial compromise with bunk beds or a less than desirable arrangement. The Azimut 53 does things differently with twin parallel beds and plenty of full height walking room. Plus, the perception of space is further enhanced by the nearly full length pull side window here, which also offers a pleasant opening for fresh air. And you guessed it, lots and lots of storage all around. We almost missed it. There's a slot here for your washer dryer, combo machine of course, and above it, a convenient cupboard for linens, towels, things like that. And you notice how much space there is in this corridor. It's not just the height, two people could pass here very comfortably. Let's head back upstairs. Azimut has managed to keep the engine room in a low position and shift it aft thanks to the choice of pod propulsion. It's been arranged to ensure all the parts that require checkups and maintenance are readily accessible. You can see the fuel filters, the fuel tanks, the generator, and of course the Seakeeper NG9, which keeps the yacht from rolling in the waves. It's a complete and neat technical package. And here we are, back on the bow lounge of the 53, just in time to catch the sunset. Thanks to the squared off bow, a trick that Azimut uses to expand the space on the foredeck, we have space for three beautiful sunbeds with adjustable backrests and deep cushions, and a forward facing sofa looking out over it all. If it were a little bit more sunny, we could put up carbon fiber poles to support a bimini here, but at sunset, it's an uncapped panoramic vista. As we've seen today, the 53 offers a first step into the true yachting experience for smart and adventurous families looking to spend days and even weeks on board without sacrificing comfort. And as always, she delivers on the brand's promise of a profile that's recognized around the world, even from far away. <laughs>